What is up, Hardcore Nation? It's Hardcore Christopher here, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, you guys saw me complete level 10, and after that, something happened with Extra Quarter. But I guess it's for the best, because since I already did level 10, you get to see me do level 11, which I have not done. So, Skull. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, what to do here? And you get paid a lot more. Consider this. Mallory spent half his 26 years high on something. And maybe he was depressed, maybe he was a psycho. But don't you think you would have done the deal? There's something on the mermaid head? Let's talk. You want to know why Patty called me Friday night? Hey, that was a cop, remember? Okay, so what'd you talk to her about? She did all the talking, actually. Ooh. She threatened to sick her lawyers on me if I kept interviewing her friends. Let me guess. She was your prime suspect. Do I okay. The so they're no. all in the water. But I didn't think she knows who did. Look, her husband's shame is worth names. The rumors were that he was a dumb one. Now that she's dead, the millions go well. to... Well, she didn't have a will. She owned dad. Who she happened to sue on more than one occasion. Maybe. Another skull. Nothing in the third. Oh. Okay. I have no idea what this is. Um. What? Uh. Maybe. Is there anything in the... I'm thinking it's a some sort of puzzle. I'm thinking if I solve solve this, I get a key. Hmm. Let's close these doors. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people ready. Well, I'm not ready to die, per se, but it's going to happen. Uh, I don't have enough for a hint, unfortunately. I probably wouldn't use a hint anyway. So, 
Fish tuned in to you. Mm. Mm. Nope. Come on. Close this door. Oh, I guess I'm just gonna stay open. Okay. Nothing to do with the chain. Well, not yet, anyway. Okay. Um. Hmm. Orange. I have no idea what this blue green okay purple blue orange green before I got a penny said that she got a call about a family emergency. Not from this family. We didn't talk to each other in two years except through our attorneys. Must have made for a hell of a Thanksgiving dinner. I'm going to give it to you straight. Jane had her screws loose. You know what I mean? She was a liar, a junkie, a whore. She's also your daughter and she's dead. Show some respect. Yeah. I'd be the only one. You should read some of her fan mail. It should have been you who jumped off that roof. I think Jeffrey Dahmer got mail this bad. Maybe what? something's inside the boat? I won't even read this one in mixed company. Her daddy was right Wait a minute. Gets more hate mail than I get junk mail. You know what? You might save yourself some time by talking to someone who actually liked her. Patty died and we fell out for the first time in two years. Maybe a lot of people loved her. Was that always that color? The thing was shame, man. She wasn't. She was Shane had his own crap to do with one with William Bet Patty. And then it was like his dying at some kind of major conspiracy. Like Shane killed himself. Can you think of anybody that had a particularly hard time accepting it? Actually, about six months ago, we were playing the Hammerstein, and this freak in a crisis t shirt put his way to the stage, pulled a mic into the pit, and starts ranting at Patty the murderer. For some reason, you didn't tell us this before? Well, before you were asking about Doug. Does this freak have a name? Your guys dragged him off after that. Performing, bro. Performing what? About green. Go ahead and ask him. Maybe sign a bunch of forms. I don't know, Greg. Patty Vortex seems to be the focus of a lot of the Green, blue, orange. She's dead, if that's what you mean. Why? Because she had something to do with Shane Mallory's death? Orange, blue, pink, green? She stepped on the cracks and she hopped on the train to it. There's no blood in that. Okay. Step on our toes, you know. Sorry, I'm sorry. That's the last thing I want. 
I have no idea. There's a guy, Travis Jones. Are we supposed to know him? Only if you're a rock historian. He was the original drummer for Crisis. You know? That is until he introduced his girlfriend to his good buddy, Shane Mallory. And the girlfriend was Patty Boyte. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, so once they're lit, they're lit. The girl and the band in one fell swoop. And Shane and Patty lived happily ever after. The crisis goes on to fame and fortune without Travis. Sounds like both. Okay. Travis is a major league doper now, but uh. he has his own diary of Patty's that indicates she really never loved Shane. Let me restart this. See if I can find anything. So, yeah. Okay. Born. Okay, I'm going to try every combination with these jellyfish, just to see if I can... I need a hint. Yes. Right. Give me it. Just for the record, where were you two guys last Friday night? At the spot of Pony in Jersey. Hey, what can you tell us about Travis Jones? I can't even talk about. Well, he was a monster drummer. I mean, like a metronome, man. I mean, he knew what I was going to do before I even did it, you know? And we tried to talk Shane out of asking him. Change your ticket. Yeah, without him, we were like punk junk bar band. And when he died, and they were shark food. Said he was done with crisis. He was through with the whole scene. You think Travis still blames Patty? Now, 
on to level 12. Some elements can be dragged directly in the scene. There's forensics, there's blood spatter on the gun. Matches Patty Boy Tech's DNA. Ever wonder where the capital A and Chick-fil-A came from? It started with grade A top so. quality chicken. But we believed everything, not just the food, should be grade A. A is for all the little things we do to bring in our best every day. To me, the A and Chick-fil-A is a smile. I want to suggest a little encouragement. Maybe just a little joke that makes them laugh when they come through the drive thru Would you say six feet apart and have the best air high five? Well, uh, that didn't work. Okay, they went. The game would not have given me. If I release the barrels. Now let's see what I... Whoa. Okay. Now let's see what happens. <laughs> Death has never been so satisfying. <laughs> Ooh! That's a fox! Mm. Nah. Let's get you. Got more coin. On to level 13! Later. Thank you. Skull. What you did for Corey Jenkins. Protecting him. I don't know. Any cops that would do that. When I tell you that we are going to find the person who did it and put him away forever, I mean it. We're going to find out. Take over the cell phone. I know. Okay, so I've cracked both mirrors. Oh, another skull. Wheel. Washington comes to its senses. We need to deal with Patty Boytex, sir. She's a sort of rock star. Oh, I have a granddaughter. 
I know exactly who she is. But I also know that trying to build a case on an illegal break-in by a rock. Okay. It's like trying to do a kickflip without lifting your front foot off the skateboard. Grandson. Well, in any case, I got, I got the skin. They think there's enough for an arrest. We know this is high profile. We'll avoid any taint. Why do we let a grand jury make it? Nope. Um, let's get this one. Jack McCoy, right? Do we have the pleasure? Oh, not yet. Uh, my name's Jeremy Cook. I'll be representing Travis Jones. You're a little early. I haven't even convened a grand jury yet. Uh, early bird worms and all that. Okay, he has to use the restroom. Ooh, money. And another skull. Okay. I'm looking ahead to trial, or Mr. Foster won't be able to answer any of my questions without incriminating himself. If he doesn't take the fifth, he'll end up a defendant in his own trial. Kudos on your creativity, Mr. Cook. The problem is there's no basis in law. And that's why they keep adding new wings to the law library. Your Honor, the idea that a writer was agent for the state is absurd. Perhaps, but I want to hear from witnesses, not lawyers. Evidentiary hearing tomorrow okay. is to apply. Oh, now what? An evidentiary hearing preceding a grand jury presentation. So we got a dollar from tapping on that game sign. And Pac-Man gave us a coin. Where do you go, coin? Putting a particular killer behind bars. Here? Here are copies of your previous three years tax returns. Would you read what's listed as your occupation? Nope. Writer. And what was your former occupation? I was a detective with the NYPD for almost 20 years, but I've been retired for about six. You no longer involve yourself in active Got it. investigations. Of course not. Look, retirement was boring. Okay. Uh, read the papers, I watched the two, but uh, I had to do something. So I looked into a murder that had been closed for over okay. 10 years. Okay. And then I wrote an article about it, and one thing led to another. Nice. I had a three book deal. No further questions. Oh, that was surprisingly simple. Uh, let's see, we could get that skin. Uh, okay, let's go here. Here. And here. Where did you acquire such a useful skill? When I was on the force. 
which I'm not anymore. That's what they tell me. So in plain English, you entered my client's apartment. Illegally. I paid your client for a diary. I entered the apartment to get what was mine. That's nice. Now, would you please answer the question? No, it wasn't legal. <laughs>